Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with a Trip Total Tuesday. I am going to lay out for you guys the exact amounts that I spent on my trip. And then in future videos, I'm going to break down what exactly we had for our dining, uh, what we bought for souvenirs, uh, about the hotel room and different experiences that we have. But right now, it's strictly just numbers. So um, originally... Well, man, it's really changed from the original, but um, my final kind of budget tally was $7,002.43 was the budget, okay? And I came home <laughs> from Disney World with some money, um, and even if I didn't have some of the things, I would have maybe only been slightly over budget, but we're going to talk about that. So, um, for example, the first change is instead of seven nights, we ended up staying eight my dad offered me money to pay for that so um 238 dollars and 43 cents i believe was the um difference in one night so it was 1262.29 for our eight night stay at the art of animation in the little mermaid rooms i purchased um so it was just a little over budget but again he gave me that money so i sort of subtract that from the total later uh, 150 dollars for a tables in wonderland card as an annual pass holder uh, for my premier annual pass which gives me access to walt disney world as well as disneyland uh, park hopper five days for an adult and two um, child park hoppers for five days was two thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars and seventy one cents the dresses that I brought for my children, I purchased them online from Disney Store on clearance, was $85. We had bought those a long time ago. Um, and then $809.42 was the cost of my race, okay? Um, we had a budget of $2,000 for food and souvenirs, okay? And then we also had um, a Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique budget in there um, for $100 some dollars I can't remember the number off it we stayed on par with that so anyhow food um for dining was $1,256.18 uh $71.14 in snacks um $531.13 in souvenirs because I got this let me see if I can get it and show you guys real quick I'll show you this one souvenir because I'm really excited about it. This is my one super big splurge that took a big part of my head with me. <gasps> I got a Disney Dooney for the race, a big one. Um, I'm not really big into carrying around a big person. I'm not usually like a Dooney person, but I thought this was so cute. And I'm glad that I got one that had Dopey just right here. So um, that included all that. And then $127.70 for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So for food, snacks, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, and souvenirs, um, it was $1,986.15. My children also had $150 that they had gotten for Christmas. So um, that's not included in that. Then that would bring it up to $21.36.15. But because they got it for Christmas, it wasn't a part of my original plan. I let them spend it how they wanted to. Um, Anyhow, so if we have twelve sixty two twenty nine for the room, one hundred fifty dollars for tables in Wonderland, two thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars and seventy one cents for tickets, eighty five dollars for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, eight oh nine forty two for the race, and um, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, yeah, eight, nineteen eighty six fifteen for the souvenirs minus. Oh, I'm losing you. Sorry for my kids. <laughs> um, minus my kids for all the food, souvenirs, and snacks. That total is seven thousand eighty-nine um, fifty-seven. So that's eighty-nine fifty-seven over budget, right? But then my dad covered the cost of that first night's room, which is two thirty-two eighty-eight. So really, um, I was at six thousand eight hundred fifty-six dollars and sixty-nine cents, which is one hundred and forty-five seventy-four under budget, right? So then. Um, that's so very exciting. And then I spent $75.78 on my Starbucks mugs. But remember when I would get a free Starbucks gift card, I would pay myself that money. And I was just specifically hoarding that to make a mug collection. So I didn't count that in any of that. But just so you know, I spent $75.78 at Starbucks on my special Starbucks cards. So woohoo for leaving Disney with money. The other thing I want to say is um, I also kind of left Disney with a value of more money. Ah. My thing doesn't want to stick. I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
<laughs> I'm just gonna have to hold it. They canceled the half marathon, okay? And they offered up to um, people who had, you know, entered into that. One of your options for um, kind of compensation was two one-day park hopper passes that never expire. So I hopped on that because the value of that was greater than a refund of the race on a Disney gift card, right? So I requested that. They sent me two. Then, and that's $185.41 value for one, you know, peak season, uh, one day park hopper pass. Then they sent me another email with a different code for two more. And I had already added the first two to my Disney experience. I thought this is strange. So I called them because I want to be a nice, honest person and say, hey, um, you know, on this day, you already gave me two. And then you gave me an email with two more. And the person was like, well, are you sure? I said, well, I didn't want to add them to my Disney experience without checking with you guys first because I didn't want to take extra tickets if I wasn't supposed to. He said, oh, no, no, I'm sure it's just um, that there was maybe a mistake with your first tickets and just no, no worries. Go ahead. So I put them in my Disney experience and I have four <laughs> one day park hopper passes, which is a value of $741.64. So while I have my pass now, you know, if we go on our cruise later, we can actually like, I can use those for my husband and my kids and even my mother-in-law to get into the park. I can transfer them to them. That's a huge value, huge value um, for those tickets. So um, I stayed under budget, right? I mean, I made mean, the food budget and snack, food, snacks, and souvenirs should have been less than two should have been right at 2000 but that even included the bibbidi bobbidi boutique i can't wait you guys to tell you more about that even if i would have paid full price it was worth every penny every penny but i feel even better because i didn't spend all the money but it would have been worth it totally worth it um so again i'm gonna have some future videos for you guys where i spell out what exactly did we and how was it that price you know part of it being lower is because I had one less person with me. My mother-in-law wasn't there and my husband met me later. So that's part of how I was able to save some of that money. Um, my dad did fill in that extra night, which wasn't part of my original plan. So that's okay. Uh, oh, one more thing I'll tell you real quick too, because this wasn't a part of the original plan, right? But because my father-in-law was in poor health and my mother-in-law wasn't able to come, I tracked my travel expenses for you guys. So I'll put that in here real quick. And for, you know, hotel, fuel, and food, it was... $356.39 round trip um, in the car for three people going down and four people coming up with just a one night hotel stay on the way down. Um, $70.74 for a hotel, $10 for tolls, um, $135.84 in food, and $139.81 for fuel. So, that wasn't a part of the original budget because that wasn't originally part of the plan. <laughs> so, but we could spring it. It was okay. My dad gave me extra money. It all kind of works out. So, I'm starting to ramble now. There will be further videos where I go in more. If you have any specific questions for me about this, again, I, some of you have emailed me and so I have your questions, but if you want to remind me, if you have a new question, please let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to answer those for you in the future. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm so amazed at the amount of money I was able to save and you know, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you about Disneyland trip. I can't wait to tell you about all these other things. So thanks so much for sticking with me guys. You're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If you're new here, please subscribe, go back and check out Mickey money Monday series. See how I saved up all that money for these trips and stay tuned to hear how the trip went. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you real soon.